So what's up ladies and gentlemen, Blue Fox 22 coming back at you with more Final Fantasy 7. When we last left off, we uh, opened up Beginner's Hall, but we're not going to do all that. We're just going to go ahead with the game. And uh, I switched up my material a little bit. So for Cloud, he has Contain, eff Added Effect, Master Command, Enemy Skill. Tifa, she has Enemy Skill, two Master Commands, but with HP Absorb and MP Absorb, so she'll get a little bit of HP and MP back every time she attacks. She also has Shield and MP Turbo. I'm gonna switch that out for Range Exchange, Tifa. Um, do I have Mega All? Let's just do all oh, set MP Turbo. Check magic shield. All oh, doesn't work on that. Okay. If I give her mega all, is that going to yeah slash all magic? Yeah, it still doesn't work. All right, so we'll nix that. Um, let's do MP Turbo. Oh, and Barrett, he has enemy skill, master command, uh, EXP, and guild plus, and long range. So he can stick in the back row, uh, regardless of you know where he's at. He can always do some damage, uh, the same amount of damage. Um, I'm going to arrange my materia. Make sure my items are set for battle. And I'll leave everyone neutral. We all don't need to be in fury. So we should be good. And everyone's limits are set to a certain level, so we should all be good. All right, let's get going. Yeah, Beginner's Hall is a good um, place to, to, to go if you've never played the game. But since I played the game before... Yeah. He used to give us nothing but headaches when he was here, but now that he's gone, we kind of miss him. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if my son's already left. When it's just my wife and I here, you have no idea how lonesome it gets. You say it like it's a bad thing. Johnny's room. Of course, the toilet. I don't know why that's a thing. Listen, there, if there isn't anyone to listen, what's the use of... G getting gossip on everyone. Yeah. And, and, and you, mister, I don't care. I'll get a little more information that would pique every, even your interest. You wait and see. Uh, Johnny's gone. You look a little disappointed. I don't like to say it myself, but I'm just a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. When it comes d down to it, I'm gutless. I'm still just a no good kid. That's depressing. Anyway, let's get a move on. So if you come up here, bro who was here earlier, he ain't there now. So if you didn't get a chance to talk to him then, you're not going to. I've had it. Me too. You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something. Yes. Well then, shall we? Yes. I heard that there's supposed to be a Romeo and Juliet reference, but I I don't get it. Oh, crap. Morning! Dawn comes and things never change. You be careful not to get hurt. Come back again here. Yeah? Yo.
Yo. This ain't no private car, so split up. Hoodlums again, God. Don't I, don't I just have the, all the luck? You say something? I said you say something. Now look at that. It got empty all of a sudden. What's going on? Damn. It, it's empty because of g g guys like you. Yipes. You, you see the news, right? Avalanche says th th there'll be more bombings. Only devoted to employees like me. We go to Midgard on a day like today. You work for Shinra. I won't give him the violence either. Bear it. Lucky. So, what are we going to do now? Sorry, I got my characters confused. The hell, you so calm. You're busting up. You're busting up my rhythm. Looks like they're just finished connecting the cars. We're finally leaving. So what's our next target? Huh. Listen to Mr. Sirius about his work. All right, I'll tell you. Jesse will probably already told you, but there's a security checkpoint at the top plate. It's an ID scan system, checking all the trains, which Shinra is very proud of. We can't use our fake IDs anymore. Good morning, and welcome to Midgard Lines. Arrival time at Sector 4 Station is 11.45. That means we've got only three minutes, three more minutes to the ID checkpoint. All right, in three minutes, we're jumping off this train. Got it? Cloud, come over here. Let's look at the railway map motor monitor. Mm. You're the ones that will talk to me or come to my house. I'm impressed. It looks like you've seen this already. It's all right. Come a little closer. Eh, whatever. That's odd. The ID checkpoint was supposed to be further down. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. Repeat. Type A security alert. Unidentified passengers confirmed. A search of all cars will be conducted. What's happening? What's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry, get to the next car. Someone blew it. Unidentified passengers located in car number one, preparing for lockdown. Let's go, keep it up. Now in this part of the game, there is um, there's a thief who's going to steal some gill off of you. I have so much I'm not worried about, but normally if you don't have a lot of gill, get your gill back. Car number one locked down. Upgrading to level two warning. Hurry! You're locking the door, sir. Just run! Yeah, if you take too long, uh, the doors will lock and you have to jump out of the train there and then it takes a little longer to get to your destination. Car number two, locked down. Upgrading to warning level three. All right. We're clear. Not yet. They're starting another check. If we're caught, we're done for. But don't worry. If we move up the train, car by car, we should get past it. Unidentified passengers moving to front... Moving to front of train. Currently tracking location. 
He's the thief. Not worried about it. It's not that much go. You get out of my way. Upgraded to maximum security alert. All right, we made it. Yeah, he stole a hundred gil off of me. I'm not worried about it. Yo, this way. Let's go. We're going to dive out of here. Uh. Uh. Game. Scary, huh? Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Because... Hey, you two. There ain't no time for that. Yeah, I've made up my mind. Watch closely. I'm gonna jump. You don't care if I go first? A lead always stays till the end. Don't worry about me. Just go. Yo! Don't go getting your spiky ass hurt. It's only the beginning of the mission. Later, you take care of the rest. Good. So far, everything's gone is going up as planned. Don't let your guard down till we get to Sector Five Reactor. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse got everything ready for us. So move it. The reactor's just down this tunnel. Yeah, and when he means down this tunnel, he wants you to go this way. Don't go the opposite direction because you'll just get to a security checkpoint and you can't get past it. And you gotta walk all the way up this way. Those light beams are the Shinra's security sensors. We can't go any further. That's one damn tiny hole. You telling me to squeeze into that? To get under the plate? No way. Yo, Cloud. What are we gonna do? Go down. But damn, man, that thing gives me the chills. And away we go. So like I mentioned before, I'll try and cut out as many of the random battles as we get. Um, if they're new enemies, then uh, of course I'm going to shop the battle. But if they're not, I'm going to skip it. Uh, there's no items or anything around here, so we ain't got to worry about it. All right, so we can sense enemies. We can steal from enemies. And we can try and manipulate enemies. Now Tifa, because of her ability, To big guard. And let's do magic hammer to piss them off. Um, I can go and attack. I love this move. Magic hammer. And yeah, she'll gain. 10% of their uh, the damage he deals out. It's actually pretty sweet. Dude, Dragon Force. And I'm going to do Bad Breath. I'm 
If we sense these guys, I'll show off another ability I like. Oh, that was magic breath. Oops. Never mind. I was going to say, uh, if you sense an enemy, you can either do uh, level 4 song or level 5 death. And uh, you can get some pretty nasty effects on them. Now, there's two ways you can go. I would suggest going over here. A near wedge. Cloud. Uh, cloud, this way. The reactor's up this ladder. Um, if you go that way, I think there's an extra item that you can get. It's not worth it. <laughs> I'm sorry. The ID scan problem on the train was all my fault. I modified your ID card, and that's what did it. I did my best, but I failed. It's not your fault, Jess. So if you dig the other ladder, you'll just come out that way. It's the only difference. Yeah, we got some new enemies here. We got... Uh, Gas trike, and we got uh, that's weird. I can't get to the back row. Oh well, uh, let's do sense on those. Ah, there we go. Ah, shoes tank. We'll sense on those, and all these guys are doing are slowing me down. I'm not worried about it. So, level eight. So we can do L4 Suicide. That's a multiple of fours. Eight is a multiple of four, so that'll hit those guys. They're level six, so they'll get hit with uh, level, four, level four Suicide. Level four Suicide, level five Death. Clock got his limit break. Bear got his limit break. I was going to save them for a particular boss coming up, but I'm not too worried about it. Nice. She got actually got that death blow. Oh, he hit me for over a thousand damage. I think their one attack does percentage damage. Because that was a lot of damage for those guys. Those guys are low-level monsters. Mega Elixir, not worried about it. All right, so my stats went down. No, his Lux, Spirit, and Vitality are still 30. His magic is at 28. All right. Let's change up uh, Cloud's armor there. Give him a Mithril armlet. And we'll give Barrett a Mithril armor, armlet as well. And Tifa has the leather gloves, or we can go God. I don't want to go God hand, God's hand just yet. That's insane. Drill arm. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. Okay, so enemy skill. Uh, let's do MP absorb. I don't know if that'll work, but we can find out. Or better yet, let's do this. Um, range exchange cloud. Do that. And set MP absorb. We'll do HP absorb. So now every time he uses a command, he'll gain some HP. Enemy skill added effect contained. Good. Oh, 
let's do master command for him and uh, MP absorb. Not that it matters for Barrett because eventually you're going to find out why it doesn't matter. And we can do hyper or set. Nah, let's not do all that. All right, moving on. Okay, all saved. Got our tent. We're gonna pull out now. We'll meet up at the hideout. Cloud, we're counting on you to blow up the reactor. See you later, bro. All right, so I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, short, sweet, and to the point. When we come back next episode, we're gonna actually enter the reactor. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I am your host, Michael Gardner, aka Blue Fox Twenty Two. With that said. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, if it's possible, and above all, stay foxy. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all in the next episode of Final Fantasy VII. I'll take care. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.